Hello there, Internet Dwellers. Bazamalam back again. Um, this is going to be like a second upload video because it, it, it's not got the right to be a main video. Let's just say that. It's just it's not my style. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make this video because as of lately, um, you know, my life's been looking up and it's good. Like, in a, like, I've been going through some horrible crap, mainly due to my own reckoning, but, um, you know, I'm figuring myself out, getting through it, you know, with your guys' help as well, it's absolutely incredible. As you can tell, the title of this video, uh, Motivation. I've had a very, very bad problem with motivation um, all my life, really. I've just been one of these guys that slacks off. Through school, in high school, I was just like... I just wanted to end high school. College, I picked the easiest course I could find. Media, don't take offense to that. But it, it felt like, I would, you know, you'd just be running around film. And obviously that wasn't the case. Um, you know, there's a lot of written work to do as well. But I mean, I guess it's good because it landed me like in this job that I'm in now, which is okay. So if anyone tells you, you know, arts or media isn't a real course to take, just tell them to fuck off. It's like when people say, when you say to someone, I'm a YouTuber, they say, oh, so you don't have a job then. Like, Fuck you. Obviously, a lot of personal things in my life has uh, made me go a little bit weird at some point, as you could tell. Like, I thought I was going to end my channel. I deleted that video. It was cringy, to be fair. And I went through this. Ma I deleted all my tweets from before. Basically, it was because I went through a massive breakup. Uh, well, it wasn't really massive, but it was it was my own fault why it happened. I won't go into it. Yeah, I wish her all the best anyway. You know, there's no bad blood. And from that, I kind of it opened my eyes really like it's a shame that something bad has to happen for me to see like a good side to something. So you guys have probably saw that I've been uploading, you know, a lot of, of well, videos daily, pretty much some two times a day. That in itself for me is such a personal achievement. I know you're thinking, oh, it's so easy to make a video. But for me, like, because I always lack motivation right now, I'm like four or five videos ahead of myself and I'm recording more still because I'm absolutely motivated to, you know, do what I want to do. I've got this vision in my head. You know, 100,000 subscribers by, I'd say, halfway through next year, I'm going to say. Um, that is my vision. That is the goal that I'm working towards, and I'll do anything I can to get there. And with your guys' help, I know that I will be able to get there. But I want to put all well, my all into making videos. Ryan, my, my good friend Ryan, known him since I was three or four years old. 8-Bit um, Ryan, you know him as. He recently surpassed 1 million subscribers. And after watching his video on the million subscribers, it just touched me like, you know, that's my best mouth. I'm, I'm, I'm proper proud of that dude, man. He's like, he's going to be like, what I said to him, he's 10 times worth more than that. He could easily get 10 million. The work ethic that he puts in is absolutely ridiculous. It's weird because it's a circle. So I started YouTube on 8-Bit Gaming. Ryan was interested. I got him interested in it. Then he decided, we, we made videos together, then he wanted to make his own channel, he wanted to do his own thing, obviously doing 8-bit gaming at the same time, and um, he just excelled, like completely, because he just put his all into it. Whereas me, I'm going to be honest, I'm just a lazy bum. I'm not a lazy bum, but I'm just too comfortable, I think. I don't push my boundaries enough. Thanks to everything that's happened in my life, it's been like a massive eye-opener for me. You know, you only get one life, you go at it with everything you've got. Why should you, like, sit back and daydream about the things you want when you can go out there and try your best to get it. Denzel Washington had a saying or a quote which says, fail big. And it means basically, it doesn't matter if you fail that thing, as long as you went to go go at it with all that you can have, then that's all that matters really. It's go big or go home pretty much. You can do anything you want to do in this life if you really truly put your mind to it. If you have a passion for it, a burning desire for it, and you're just looking I don't know, you see nothing but this goal and it's an obsession for you. It's just something that you crave. There's that saying as well, isn't there? The story about the guy who dragged this guy out to water, put his head under the water until he was fighting and he's, you know, he, could, he was almost drowning pretty much. And basically the moral of the story is, you know, when you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. When you finally get that like calling in your life of something that you really want to do and something that you love doing and you can do as your job. Honestly, I'm like, I'm blessed. I will say that I'm absolutely blessed and I'm so grateful for everyone, even if it's just a small community right now. You know, I, it, that doesn't matter to me. What matters is just the passion that I have. And at the same time, I am building up this little awesome community of people. I've got my Discord, the Bazama fam. You should go join that, it's in the description down below. They're the most friendliest little family I could wish for on there. They're welcoming everyone on there. I I, I couldn't wish 
for a more better place for people to go. Basically, this video is just to say I'm coming at you, life with a full-on vengeance. And if you don't let me succeed, then I'm going to die trying to succeed because this is my dream and only I can do this, right? Only I can pave my own way. People seem to think that things happen to you, that there's an exterior force out there that seems to push you into the direction you want to go. But the truth is, you're more like one of those jet skis through the water. You can go wherever you want. The universe will just let you go there. As long as you've got your mindset on a goal, and you're absolutely passionate and you're burning to do it, then the universe will get out your way and say, go ahead, mate, go. But if you're thinking that, you know, something's always against you, that you're not in control of your life, then you're not gonna be in control of your life, are you? Things are gonna start happening to you that you don't want. You gotta start concentrating on what you do want. And you may be thinking, yeah, but bad things happen to people. Yeah, bad things happen to people, but it's how you react to that that defines you as a person. For example, you know, you break down on the motorway or the highway, freeway, whatever, you got a flat tire. And you could look at it in two different ways, right? You could say, oh, bollocks, I've got a flat tire. I'm meant to be somewhere in 30 minutes. How am I going to get there now? I haven't got a spare tire in the back. I'm going to have to wait for a call out, blah, 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 blah. Or you could say, right, for some reason, I've got a flat tire. That is probably because something bad was going to happen further on up ahead that may have ended my life or something better is about to happen to me, meeting someone new. For all you know, the guy that you meet could be like an up and coming entrepreneur who's working for this uh, breakdown company. I know it's a long shot, but honestly, when you have your mind set to something big and bad things happen, it's actually a blessing in disguise. Trust me on that. You know, in the future, when something bad happens to you, think to yourself, okay, what good could have come of this? What good is coming of this? You know, how can I look at this in a positive way? Don't think, oh, for fuck's sake, not this shit again. You gotta think, right, okay, this has happened, but why has it happened? It's obviously for a good reason. When you start adapting that mindset, holy crap, you will excel through everything in life. And people do it without even realizing, like 8-Bit Ryan, you've got that mindset, I will have what I want kind of mindset, and nothing is going to stop me. Obviously, you know, bad things still happen, but like I said, it's how you react to them. So right now, 100,000 subscribers by the middle of next year, I'm gonna say. And there we go, that is that is my goal. That I just wanted to talk to you guys, not because of just me, my personal goals, but I wanted to talk to you and let you know that literally anything is possible. And when bad things happen, it's how you react to them that matters. There we go, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this little video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. From the bottom of my heart, you guys mean the world to me. And um, I will not let you down. I will not go off like I did before onto a weird craze. I don't, I don't know what the hell happened there. But there we go, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of my life. And I'll see you tomorrow at the bush shelter.